Hey guys. How are you all today? Well, I'm doing okay. I got up early in the morning. Had another doctor's appointment. But I'ma tell you, guess what my blood pressure was? My blood pressure was 118 over 70. 118 over 70. Baby, I've been juicing. This, I made me some fresh orange juice, right? I've been juicing. Um, what I'm going to make today is some uh, or, an artichoke sandwich or artichoke mix, right? And I'm going to use the remaining of my olive oil, uh, salad dressing that I made, right? To sprinkle over it. So if you've ever been to Penn Station, <clears throat> you know that they have the different subs. So I was excited because they had a, a, a strictly artichoke um, sub sandwich, right? So I'm like, okay. So this is my version of that, right? So this, I don't know if you can see it, but I have red onions. I have chopped artichokes that I've chopped from here, from the artichokes, right? I have Spanish olives that I sliced, and I have um, red onions, and I have banana peppers. I love banana peppers, but I rinse the banana peppers out because they are really salty, like really, really salty. And just with this mix, I'm not gonna need to put any type of salt in my food at all. So what I'm gonna do, is I am going to make, I'm gonna saute it. That's what I'm gonna do. I've seen them do this before and I'm just gonna put a little oil in there and I'm going to saute it. Let it get, you know, good. Like it's supposed to get. And I'm gonna get my spices. So these are the spices that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use some ground ginger, right? I'm gonna use some garlic and herb. All of this is Mrs. Dash, so it's all salt free. There's no salt in it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this. I'm going. I'm gonna wait to get a little, uh, a little hot. And then I'm going to put it into the skillet and I'm going to saute it. And you can like toast it with, um, you can toast it with uh, regular bread, Hawaiian bread, whatever you want to do. Or just get the long sub sandwich buns that they get and you can drizzle garlic or whatever. You can grill it. I didn't take the air fryer down because I would have just grilled the bread instead of turning it on. So. I didn't really do too much today, but that was enough because I woke up really early. And I'm still sore from the gym, I'm tired. But I may miss my arthritis class, swim class tomorrow, but I may not, I may just go anyway and uh, get there so I can join because I already signed up for it. And I'm thinking about it, I might just do that. I might just go ahead and go anyway because uh, it's from 10 15 to 11 10 and i think that'll help my body and all of that so i think i just may go ahead and do it anyway but i don't have a swim pad so yeah and i don't want this to be up too high so i'm gonna go ahead and put this mix on in here And I can just eat a little something, still healthy, and don't have to worry about coming home to 
what am I going to eat, what I'm going to cook. And I did a lot of grocery sh shopping, so I don't want my food to go bad. I want to prep it, you know, with vegetables, you have to prep it. Okay, that's the ginger that I'm putting in there. And I didn't have... mixture of the rice so i'm gonna let it brown and i'm gonna let it saute a little longer and then i'm gonna take it out and i'll let you see how it looks okay guys so this is how it looks you see the steam coming out this is how it looks and this is just order chokes olive uh, olives a little olive oil uh you can put jalapenos in there if you like it spicy i don't really like it spicy banana peppers and red onions that I've been sauteed and you usually put it like on uh, like a sub sandwich or whatever you can put cheese on there if you want to whatever type of cheese provolone Swiss cream cheese whatever you want on there but yeah it's really good and it's healthy it's light uh, and this is kind of sort of how they make it at um, Penn Station so yeah so that's pretty much how they make it at Penn Station and I am um, That is just my version of it, right? So like I said, I'm doing meal preps because I just may go to the, I may go to swimming tomorrow despite, of, you know, what happened today. So I may still go there. I don't know yet. I haven't decided, it just depends on if I get up in time. But yeah, I'm gonna keep my jaw. I'm gonna wash it, take this off. So I got about two and I might as well put that in there. I got two olive oil, I mean not olive oil, olives left in here. And like I said, olives are already salty. So I don't need to put any more salt. I don't need to put any salt in there because they're already salty. And I got a little bit more of these and I got some more of jaw in there. So again, I keep my jaws. And I just uh, wash them out because I'll be making other things with them so yeah that's it and then I have this right here my my olive oil uh, salad dressing that I made I may put a little apple cider vinegar in it but you can use honey wheat bread you can use like I said the sub sandwich all of that honey wheat the sub sandwich I never tried it with the honey wheat but not the honey wheat but the uh, King Hawaiian but it's simple, it's light, it's good for the summer. And you know, you know you eating healthy, but it's like I said, it's a lot of salt. So I had to rinse it off some because I didn't have to add any addition salt, any additional salt to it. I put my ginger in there. You can even put a little turmeric and pepper, you know, in there if you want to, you know, to take, you know, some of the salt and stuff away. But yeah, you just, you know, just something really quick and light. And that's what I'm doing, something quick and light. I'm up here drinking my ginger tea. I'm gonna put some turmeric in there in a minute, but this is my meal prep for tomorrow. So when I come home and I'm starving, I already got some food. Cause I ha uh, I'm on these antibiotics and I I'm about to get off. So uh, tonight and tomorrow will be the last day. So when I come home, I don't wanna have to what am I gonna eat? You know, cause I'm usually hungry, hungry right then and there. But yeah, I just wanted to stop back and tell you all that. And also, this is what I learned today. So I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers. When you reach 500 subscribers, you can start getting monetized, right? You can start getting money for it or whatever. And I want to do that. And if you all want to help me, I will greatly appreciate it because extra money will come in handy but this is the thing you have to have 
at least 3,000 watch hours. So my videos are going to be a little longer because I've done a lot of shorts. So I want you guys to share those videos and I want you to look at them all the way through because that helps me, right? So I can start putting out more longer videos. So after this video, I have some in my iPad that I have not uploaded, but I will be uh, about the trip to the garden when they gave me all of the, the fresh spinach and all of that. You know how I cleaned it, you know how it looked because it looked kind of rough, you know, because it was just coming from the garden, but I washed it thoroughly and all of that. So I want you guys to go back and watch those videos because I need the watch hours, okay? So um, I learned something every day, right? Because I did not know that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be bringing out more and more. I'm going to finally, when I get everything straightened up in here, because I'm still moving stuff along, giving stuff away, trying to sort through it, what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to give away, because it's a lot. And I don't want to be, it, you know, I don't want it to be crowded because I, I just can't have that. So, yeah. So if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe with Life with Stacey C. It is totally free over here. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know when I'm posting new videos. And don't forget to watch the videos all the way through and share those videos. What I also learned is that if you feel that this right, this video may, you know, resonate with some other people or whatever, you can share those, share the link so they can watch. And that counts as well, right? So I just want, want you all uh, to know that 406 subscribers, I appreciate the new ones. I appreciate the old ones. Just keep it going. I love you all so much. I appreciate you so much. I, I would have never thought that I would have been up to 400 at all. Like when I first started, like I said, I had this channel for a minute, but I'm like, don't nobody want to know what I'm doing, right? But, you know, things have been happening, some interesting things that I want to share with y'all, but I appreciate you all rocking with me like that the way y'all have been, because you all have really been rocking with me, and I, you just don't know how much it means to me. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. Uh, it's, it's a blessing because I, I surpassed what my expectation was. I, I had no expectation, but... Here I am at 406, almost 500 subscribers. And I thank you all so much. I couldn't have, could not have done it without you. And again, uh, so grateful. I'm so grateful. So, uh, yeah, I know I'm bringing out some more things or whatever. So, I got a lot in store. So, watch these videos, okay? Share these videos. Share them with your loved ones. Share them with people you may think I do something funny because y'all say I'm funny. And I just be myself, right? And I want you all to see that life is hard. That's why it's called Life with Stacey C. We're all going through something. We all cannot talk, complain, or uh, beat anyone up or whatever because we are in the same group. And life is hard. So I just want to share with you all how I navigate it. And maybe you can share it with me how you navigate through it. And maybe we can come up with a plan so we can, you know, get through this thing together because that's what it's about. Unity, togetherness, and that's what we stand for. That It was blinking. It was driving me crazy. And that's what we stand for over here, right? So what I have and what I share, share with you all, share with other people. Because, you know, blessings are not for you to keep. They're for you to spread, you know, because someone, someone blessed you, they didn't keep it. So you have to keep on passing those blessings on. And, again, I, I just thank y'all so much. I really do. Again, until next time, y'all, take care of yourself, okay? Wow.